make you make it mistakes, but no, it's an interesting matchup to be sure. All you right, called it, man, Snake Link. I believe this is still winner's quarters. Hold on, that probably makes sense. All right, so yes, confirmed. This is the last winner's quarters match right there on the bottom right. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Snake versus Link, both uh, setup characters. Uh, Link with some um, other interesting options as well. He has like a detonating bomb, which uh, Snake kind of has something like that too. Both of them are going to be able to use those uh, detonating bombs to recover as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we saw uh, Arrow right there taking advantage of that uh, of that fact of that bomb to get around the Nikita, which he's needed. Love that he's challenging it with the hitbox as well, because honestly, Link's recovery can be so telegraphed without that bomb that it's necessary to kind of make the snake respect that he needs to perhaps look into other options to cover himself while he does it. Okay, trying to catch the high recovery there, but gonna miss that, go straight to the ledge, and AC with the back air to seal out that first lock. And I mean, he racked up that damage really, really quick. Cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what Snake can be capable of at these early percents. You're seeing that he's trying to set up for it again with the grenades. If he can get two in the right spot and bounce him in between them, it's almost like he's playing a doubles match with just two stationary teammates. Oh yeah, a little mistiming there on the punish. It can be a little weird just because down air after that last hit, he kind of puts himself in the air for a little longer, but it is one of the best out of shield options in the game. Down air comes out at frame three. So amazingly good. Mm -hmm. And with that frame three jump spot makes it frame six out of shield. But I mean, yeah, frame six out of shield is still faster than anything Wolf's got out of shield. Yes. <laughs> and one thing to note as well, the, uh, the I know the grenades, but I know there's other explosives that will detonate the uh, the bomb from Link mm -hmm. down B. So I, I believe it's any like fire attribute. That would be correct, yeah. Any Anything with a, with a fire effect will take it down. I think Arrow had accidentally grabbed the grenade, mm -hmm. so he just exploded off the top. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that backer looked like it was going to kill him regardless, but that forward tilt, mm -hmm. AC not opting for the a air dodge up, but I'm pretty sure that forward tilt would have covered that as well. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's got great frame data. It's got it's a pretty active move, surprisingly. It's kind of like a Lucina forward smash, uh, yeah. almost, in, almost identical in frame data. So, you know, it's great, at, it's great at the ledge. You see Lucina do it as well. We'll see if Arrow can set up the snake at the ledge and see if he can pick up a similar edge guard because with all the projectiles that he can throw out, he can do something similar. Yep, there's a grenade detonating uh, dang, uh, Link's bomb right there. I'm not sure, is there a name for that? I, I didn't, like, play Breath of the Wild. Too. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's called Remote Bomb. Remote Bomb? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Still alive, though, but he's got to use that bomb recovery to make it back on stage. That means putting himself into more damage, and we're approaching those percents where that up tilt is going to kill from AC. Yeah, so many uh, safe moves like Nikita, like up tilt coming around, but that up B out of shield is going to be one of Link's pretty much fastest out of shield options there. So it's going to be really good for getting out those sticky situations, but the pressure is still on AC just methodically trying to close out the stock. Yeah, 146, you know, if he, he can take his time because he knows if he gets 20% before Arrow gets the opportunity to kill you, he can just do that down throw into up tilt. Not going to find it yet, so the DI mix up on the fourth throw means that Arrow once again has to do that bomb recovery, and he cannot get grabbed a single time now. AC just needs to find him on the ground, and he's been doing a great job of respecting the fact that Arrow has a good aerial game, but a slower, uh, you know, easier to react to ground game. But 208? My gosh, somebody's got to die soon. Yeah, and I, I'm very curious to why AC did not just do down throw forward tilt when he had him to like that 150-ish mark, because that does true combo. But the dash attack here should seal it out, yeah. Even Link, center stage. Over 200%, just living to ridiculous percents. But nonetheless, AC going to close it out with, I believe, a two stock there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty look, looking like a pretty rough matchup. It's just hard because you don't really set up the remote bomb too well just because AC can kind of deem when he wants to detonate it mm. with his grenades, with his C4. So it looks like it can be pretty rough to like play Link's game against Snake. I feel like Snake's playing his game more than Link's playing his game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Link loves to set up a game so much where he goes, I'm going to kick this bomb and shoot this bomb closer and closer to you until I have stage control and you are in a corner, but I am standing in center stage and then you have to do something. But Snake doesn't have to do something about it because like you said, he can get rid of that remote bomb and Link is left wondering, okay, well, what do I do? Maybe boomerang? But I mean, AC can carry that all day. Yeah, exactly. And even just having that sword, the aspect of the sword as well, I know most sword characters 
don't really like playing against Snake too much because their hitboxes are so big. You know, mm -hmm. when they are juggling Snake or they're trying to hit him, they'll get trades with the grenade, and that's what you don't want. Snake always looking for those trades, but right now, looks like Arrow's slowing it down a little bit and trying to play play more of his game. Yeah, which, I mean, again, like you said, he's got that sword. He's got to respect that up-close game that AC has, or rather the up-close counter game that AC has. I thought he was going to go for a hero spin right there and just try to take him off the top, because at that percent, AC's not living a whole lot at the top. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, trying to set up the bomb, trying to kick it in, and there is the beer reverse, the double beer reverse up. Smash, not going to scoop there. But, oh, he wasn't looking for the C4. He was standing right on it. Yeah. Right there, what a conversion from AC, and I believe he needed that up air to take him off the top town of City. One of the higher ceilings, or the highest ceiling out of all of them competitive stages. But the up tilt with the trade, still definitely going to be worth it to take that slot. Yeah, no, now you got this even game, and Arrow even chilling on this platform. This is one good link conversion away, and up smash will certainly get that started if he can get a juggle, but at that percent, we're not even super safe on hit. Okay, setting up the grenade with the Nikita, catching oh. the jump over. And wow, I, I like the, the Nikita mid-range usage from AC. I mean, in particular, it's so good in this matchup because, again, you know, Link has sort of a, a slower ground game that you don't have to respect. You know that he's going to like to spend a lot of his time in the air. So if you have the grenades to cover the ground anyways, and he is guaranteed to go in the air, why not use the Nikita to cover it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and right now, AC is getting so much of these B-reverse C4s. Arrow does not look ready for it. Yeah, this just this just looks like a matchup that you know maybe maybe he's had he's he hasn't had uh, experience. I don't want to say he hasn't had experience in the matchup because there are some things he's doing right, but against like a higher APM snake who is throwing out a lot of projectiles, that's the kind of thing that I think Arrow is struggling with at this moment. Knowing like how and when to avoid trades, how to navigate through all these explosions, and even just like simple things like keeping track of the C4 and stuff, it's uh, very important. And again, it feels like AC is just doing so many reverses to get out of these like landing situations. And there's the up smash, and it just feels like there's nowhere to go than there. Not gonna play. dude. Another up smash to, oh wow, very nice cross up roll with the forward tilt, gonna close out AC's uh, second stock there now. Evening up the stocks, but we're still at a little uh, percent deficit. Mm -hmm. I would uh, I would say a little bit more than a little. I mean, Era's, Era's looking like he's one solid hit away at the ledge from AC taking this. And if that Nikita connects, oh, attack. attack is the only thing that's going to save him. Yeah, there's so many moves he has to avoid, though. So, like, a lot of Snake's aerials, tilts will do it in. And, of course, at 160%, the guaranteed grab and up tilt. Now, even more things Arrow has to watch out for. Mm -hmm. there, there it is, yeah. This Press down on the gray stick and then mash up on the yellow one, and you're good. There it is. Very solid stuff coming out from AC. Going to advance in the winner's semifinals. With real solid stuff. That is a real.